Hello again. Good morning. It's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a request for a yellow flower. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this exactly, but I have most of my tools and I'm thinking I need to start with a ring of white because white is going to make everything else move. And if I have paint out of the way, I can actually show you my favorite, my favorite large spatula. And that would be the OXO omelette turning spatula on the Amazon link. I have, really? <laughs> I have learned my lesson about leaving gaps. Although I did make it work out, I prefer not to leave gaps. So, I'm just going to spread that paint. A little bit more. See how much further I can get it to go. I've got a lot of paint in the center, and I don't think I want as much paint as that in the center. A thick layer. I want it to be spread somewhat more evenly. Yes, I'm probably hypnotizing you as well as myself. Alright, so I'm going to knock that off on the edge. Actually, you know what? I am, I'm just going to spread that out a little bit. The thinnest layer possible. I've got paint everywhere. I keep running into it. So... I don't want an overabundance of paint, but I want enough. And this is a constant experiment on what is enough and what is too much. So this is just another one of those things, an experiment. I'm going to leave my center somewhat blank. I'm kind of glad I knocked my paint off my spatula. That's the OXO omelet turning spatula. Buy the bigger one, it's better. It has a more flexible blade and um, it's usually less expensive. But um, I don't guarantee any of that. I don't. I really don't know. So I have found some paint that I want to use up, or leave a little bit of room in the container so I can uh, mix something else. But that's neither here nor there. What that is is orange. So in order to get a yellow, really, okay. In order to get a yellow flower with some kind of definition or interest, I think I should have cleared my tips. I'm going to have to really sort of swamp the orange with yellow. Kind of like something around the outside edge to drag through, but I think we're just going to play for now. And I think we're going to play to see what happens with the colors I've got so far and what I might want on the outside edge. Could it be per pink? It could be pink. Mostly yellow flower. I'm going to put that all the way along there. And I think I'm going to play with the paint that's already on my, whoops, I'm going to find something to wipe that off on, into. And I'm going to just keep dragging that up. I went in the wrong direction, I see that. I'm going to drag more randomly than usual, evidently. And I'm going to go back and forth. And I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Let's see what color yellow we get by doing that. I have a lot of paint in that center. I'm not adverse to using potentially black. I am just using my little silicone container to um, scrape the paint that I don't want to lose because I'll use it on the sides. And I might even do it soon. I know I'm really off center. I think I should probably just let that go right over the edge. Yeah, that works. That's fun. Ha! Huh. There's enough paint on the spatula, excuse me, on the basting brush. Sometimes talking and working is not the easiest thing in the world. This is basically the start so we can tell what we might want to do to it to make it more like what we want. In my opinion, anyway. 
But uh, covering the edges is working. Just using the paint that's coming right off the... Uh, whoops. <laughs> Careful. Coming off the basting brush. I'm having a hard time with that word right now. I had a feeling it might be a little difficult for me to get much definition. We'll see. I still like what's happening. It's nothing spectacular yet, but it's happening. And the thing about yellow is we can always use some white. I like watching the cells pop. I've got quite a bit of paint coming off this basting brush. There, I can remember the words. And like I said, I may be doing some black. But I'm liking the idea. I haven't always been able to cover the edges. Get some pretty colors going on in there. I'm going to have to change my tile after this. i got so much stuff going on. Had a lot more white in some areas than others, but that's not really bothering me. I don't really mind that pink either. I don't want any canvas showing, so i got to fill in some of it. I think my favorite thing at this point has been to take my squeeze bottles and uh, just add what I feel like it needs. Do we have one more side? No, I'm covered. Awesome. Did I set my timer? Yes, I did. Ooh. This is my first painting. This is my warm-up today. So now I get to see what I want to do. And I don't know how that's going to be, but I wanted to try it, so try it I will. I'm going to wipe off my paint this time. And just lightly drag that through. Sort of like a fork would. I imagine even if you don't have a basting brush, you could probably do this with a fork. Just have to wipe, remember to wipe off in between. All right, that looks less like a flower, but that's okay. Well, I'm going to grab some darker orange. And some lighter yellow. What do I want to do there? I want to take my spatula. I want to take my number three. Okay, that's still not the color I actually want in the middle there. I'm going to risk some magenta, am I? Maybe. If the top will come out. Plugs abound. There we go. Wasn't much. Whoops. That stuff comes out really fast. And I haven't got anything that's spectacular in my opinion yet. And I haven't done as I threatened to do with the black yet, either. I also put some gold. I've been making mica, um, mica powder gold with GAC 800 and Floetrol. I'd like it to come out of there a little smoother than that. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I'll get rid of some of those bubbles. I seem to be missing one right here. And I kind of, oh, do I really want to risk the Prussian blue on the outside. 
or maybe the inside. I don't know. I think what I want to do is take a little container, which I usually have something around here, put some paint in it, and very cautiously try and apply a drip. This usually sinks, but it would be a whole new gig if it didn't, considering that the gold is not a gold paint as much as it's a gold pouring medium. Off you come. So that's pretty subtle, really. I'm thinking I'm going to drag a skewer through. And I am trying to touch that to the canvas and see what happens. That's I've got a lot of paint on that end. Maybe the um, and I've got paint in my way. It does make me want to go ahead and pull those out too. Those other dots, because I can always throw more dots in there. It's not making green, and I didn't want to make green, so that's kind of nice. Happy about that. I'm going to wipe off my skewer. I kind of like that. Wipe that off. I don't think I can keep pink, but I'd like to try. And that's the bone the benefit of using a skewer instead of dropping straight out of the uh, squeeze bottle is the fact that you don't have accidental drops. I know, I just eradicated everything I did before that. But I'm very tempted to go ahead and see if anything pops in that center. And it does. Cool. So I remember now that that magenta comes out really fast and I would like some other colors. Whoa. Schmutz. Bottle schmutz. And paint schmutz. Okay, clean your skewer off. Try not to touch it again. Come out. So much for the yellow. Yeah, I like that. I like it fine. I, I don't know about this here. But I know I can use a skewer to pick up paint often. And I think I want to continue on playing with what I have in mind. If I try and stop my drip, I don't get that little tail that I don't like. Oh, I was going to pull that. I'm not sure I want to anymore. I kind of like it right as it is. Ha! Huh. No, I'm going to pull it. It just makes me want to put that blue back in there that I had. And then finish up with the yellow. Oh, I missed one. Okay. I need to pay attention. That's cool. I like that. Be nice if it would stay. Be nice if it would pull that. Yep, I faked it. Cool. 
so I didn't really need to pull down the first one. So I could fill in with another white dollop. I've got a minute left. Oh wow. Try not to drift too many places I don't want that. Sort of like making a mandala. A lot like that actually. Just not really as even because it's a more abstract construct. Cool. Nice center. Now we just need some yellow. And will it come out? So I haven't bothered to tell you guys that there is a book out called Because I Can about my pouring processes and my tools and showing the first the artworks from the first hundred videos on YouTube. But there is, and it's on my Amazon link. And the Amazon link is directly under the video, under Show More, along with my paint pouring recipe, along with my Teespring clothing that I'm attempting to design using some of my favorite artworks. And at the very bottom of the description under the video are the YouTube Volumes 1, 2, and 3 artworks on Facebook. And my Pinterest. And my Instagram. And right under the video there are links to Patreon and PayPal. And if you should like to help me support the studio, you will be automatically entered for a contest that will give you, or the winner anyway, choice of one of three paintings I put up and there's my time up. So I don't know what to do about that pink. I'm not as thrilled with that as I once was. But the only thing I can think about doing to that is adding a little white and I have just enough, whoops, just enough time to do that. Doesn't have to be perfect, just close. I would like to try a waggle. I'm uh, not sure I like that. But what I can do is diffuse it a little bit, which I think I'm going to like a lot better. Especially since I can bring that paint back in if I want. And the outside edge. Oops, I eradicated one of my one of my centers is gone. I'll just put another little dot of white there. And replace the blue. And grab my skewer and say this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you all for the contributions that have kept me painting. I really appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much. Thank you for always commenting. You make my day. You improve my day every day with your comments. Make some more random patterns with those and see what happens. And you're going to be gone in a minute. And I'm probably still going to want a torch. Torching releases the bubbles and some cells in the patterns. And there you have it. Pretty close to what the yellow flower was supposed to be like. We'll just abstract up the center just a little bit. And I will see you guys in the next video. still here. You're going to see me do one more of those.